In this video, we're going to go over white space and escape characters. Now, the way this works is the browser will recognize one white space, and that's all. So if you put two or three extra spaces here, it wouldn't recognize that. And you can see that right here, right now. One white space is recognized by the browser. But let's put in um, five white spaces here. And then we'll go ahead and refresh our page. And you can see it didn't recognize those extra spaces. And that's where escape characters come into play. So these are the escape characters right here for space. And we need all of these. The semicolon, by the way, is just to end the escape characters. So let's go ahead and copy and paste five of these into here. And now let's go ahead and refresh our web page. And there you can see now the browser recognizes those white spaces because we have these escape characters right here. Now we can use escape characters for symbols as well. Suppose you want a trademark in your web page. Well, we can go ahead and use these escape characters. And let's just put this right here. And let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there you can see now we've got a trademark on our web page. And let's put a copyright notice too. Let's use the escape characters for that. So we'll just put that right after our trademark and we'll refresh our page. And there you can see. So you can use the escape characters for those as well. Now, some escape characters are needed because you might confuse the browser. And I'll show you that. Let's go ahead and type in a greater sign right here. Now, if we do that, the browser will think this is HTML code and it'll think that we're trying to close out this element when really we want this in our content. And so instead of typing that in, we can go ahead and use the escape character for the greater than sign. And we'll just go ahead and copy and paste that in here. And let's refresh our page. And there you can see we've got our greater than sign now. And it's not actually being confused as HTML code. That's the key. The browser will not be confused. Now, there are many other escape characters, but these are the main ones that are used. So I will actually create a link in the description of this video if you guys want to go ahead and use these. See you guys in the next video.